I want to also say this. You notice every time that I, um, <laughs> every time that I get on a thing to do a video, the fucking dogs be barking this shit. This shit is crazy. But, um, I want to talk about some of the things. And I, I use Nipsey as a guide because he wrote in his song some of the issues that we would be facing or some of the questions that would be in my mind because they was in his mind while he was going through his spiritual awakening and they were fucking with him. Different people in his life, you know, he started figuring out who the fuck these people are. And I think it's that movie Total Recall by Arnold Schwarzenegger, with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. But whatever the one were, you know, he figured out that they had wiped his memory and then he just started remembering who the fuck he was and all this shit. I think that's the movie. But, um, you know, it's kind of like that. You have to kind of figure out what's going on. And because so many people have been studying this stuff and getting messages in the spirit and seeing this spiritual movie, they, they, they put in their little two cent and their fucking opinion about it. But it really ain't their story. Like, I'm going to give you an example. You got these people who are um, in Masons and shit. And they, they got a story, and the story may not be exactly what it is. That's part of the military tactics. They may not have got the fucking real story. They may have gotten just like, um, you know, just what they needed to know. Because they everybody play a part. Everybody put out a little bit of information, but only some people don't. That's why Nipsey said he know the real from the fake. Because once you start doing this shit, you can see. Like, I would do certain shit... And people will start telling me like, oh, you did it wrong. And this will be like, no, you did that shit right. Cause I'm making you do it. Like he's in my body. He's making me do the shit. You feel me? And I trust him. I went through a spiritual marriage, like in the spiritual realm, but also in the in this physical realm, Noble Ju Ali came to me and he married me to four different husbands. And I'm going, I already said some of them, I'll go into the rest of them later because everybody going through a, um, you know, a period of training and they have to prove because I got a family here, a, a biological family that own my body and shit. So they like, nigga, fuck what you talking about in the spiritual realm. If you can't control her in the real world and you can't satisfy her mind and you fucking with her or doing little shit to her to where she not going, she going to do some shit to hurt herself or whatever or do the wrong thing because she don't want to listen to your messages because she don't like the way you talking, you can't fuck with her. So I had like a marriage. I had two different marriage ceremonies and that shit is crazy. Like I said, I don't like to talk about it too much because it's almost like you're crazy, but I'm starting to realize that a lot of people know what the fuck going on and a lot of people are waking up. So you know i feel secure in talking about it and like um kid cuddy and that travis scott song he said tata's outside she called the shots he said we're gonna air this shit out so he let me know baby go ahead and talk about what you know because there's people there's new um griots and they don't really know what's going on because you you get the messages through the music until you really truly wake up you're still interpreting you're following signs and codes and shit and then, like I said, some people got people that's fucked up talking to them. That's why Lady Gaga and them be making them videos about being tortured and shit. Because they getting their fucking spiritual message from somebody fucked up, like a demon or something. Not saying they're a demon, just saying that whoever was fucking with them at that time was evil. That's why they love me. Because I'm not evil. I'm not a spiteful, nasty person. I don't fucking lie. You know, if I say something that may not all the way be true... It's because it's part of military tactics. You motherfuckers can't know everything. Not even me. That's why they kept me sleep. <laughs> or they woke me up and then, you know, my husbands are able to guide me. And my family gave them permission. My spiritual family and my real biological family. That's why my real biological parents started coming through and telling me, nah, bitch, these people ain't your real family that you thinking you, that's your real family and they fucking you up. They fucking with your mind and they do it on purpose because they know who you are. And they've been impersonating me. So going back to the real and the fake, these motherfuckers can stalk you. You feel me? They can get your medical records. They can get your school records. They got people around you that they didn't fucking told these people whatever, paying them to look at you and tell, tell whatever the fuck you're doing and shit like that. Why well, have somebody that was evil as fuck stealing my identity? 
So a lot of the shit they thinking that I'm doing, it was her fucking ass. Cause they weren't all the way online. They were just going, getting readings from people and shit. You know, psychic readings and they call in a name. That's why there's power in a name. So somebody else was using my name and it was doing fucked up shit. Or they was, you know, their body shape wasn't like mine. Their attitude wasn't like mine. They ain't as cute as me or they just look different as me. Whatever the fuck. Different than me. That shit is the reason why a lot of this shit be confusing. That's why I said a lot of the people that you think are celebrities that are crazy and shit or being bitches, they just doing a lot of this shit to get famous. Like Cardi B. That bitch give me a lot of motherfucking messages. A lot of people like to talk shit about her. But if you listen to her music backwards, she's straight up saying Nelson. They talk about my brother and my dad a lot because they were part of the story. Because they also, my dad was a priest. So they also have their own story or own part of the story that they let motherfuckers know. And then you got people in my family that would sit up and have conversations. That's how you know these bitches ain't as crazy as they think they are. They'll sit up and have a conversation and gossip about you and make up shit. And you think, oh, well, they're talking. It's just amongst themselves. You know, it must be true. And it's not because they know somebody listening. They know either a spirit is listening or somebody listening on through your fucking phone or something because the government could listen to you. You feel me? They could try to set your motherfucking ass up and let people know exactly who the fuck you are. That's why Nipsey brought me over here to his neighborhood so that people know this is this bitch because I told you where she was going to be. He said in his songs, and these are for people who are really Nipsey's fans, really know his music, his real people. And I'm not just talking about the Victory Lap album. I'm talking about his mixtapes. If you listen to his mixtapes, my exact story is in it because it's his exact story. And that's why he my baby and that's why we're connected. Because he's literally telling you his story and it's my story too. And I'm out here and these people are watching me. Some people are getting it from the spiritual realm. And I can tell because they can know things that I never said out my mouth. They can repeat stuff that I never said out my mouth or never actually did in the physical or maybe I was supposed to do it and I didn't do it or shit like that. It's like a way to weed it, weed out the real from the fake based on who's doing what, who's saying what. You feel me? And then the other thing is, I noticed that people who've been talking to me and the people who know the most are dead, like Prince and shit. He dead. But in that album that he has, where he wearing them three glasses, them three, them eyeglasses with the three, the three um, eyes on it, He's telling a story. He like, we can hear you motherfuckers. Listen to them albums. Prince is telling you what the fuck going on. All the way, he like a master teacher, you feel me? Prince is the shit. <laughs> but, um, you know, a lot of people is faking. A lot of motherfuckers is faking and they be the main ones that be trying to discredit people and talk a shit. Either in real life or they just get on the internet talking shit. Because motherfuckers are sending messages. These celebrities are sending messages to each other. And the motherfuckers who really know what to do, they know to read the message backwards. Because if you read the message backwards or listen to the song in reverse, you're going to hear the real meaning of what they're saying. Because think about it. Sometimes you might have to say a word like shit, pussy, damn, fucking, and all kind of shit. And it has to make sense. So the song sounds hella nasty, but really on the other side. Good morning. Hi. Or good afternoon, baby. You know, if you listen to it um, reverse, you're seeing that they're giving a message. Like in that song, Wet, Cardi B is talking about, I'm crying. She's like, this bitch is crying. She's devastated behind Nipsey ass. You better say something. It's time to switch it up because her family is saying, stop fucking with this bitch. You sit there and do emotional turmoil. And it's not like they're doing something wrong or whatever. It's just like, it's the spirit's way of saying, okay, this is time for her to go to the next level because she didn't got enough of the message that you sent. And she's ready for the next level of the messages. So right now, this is the time for us to start airing it out because my baby Scott told me and I trust him. They know I trust Scott. That's why I've been making all these videos about goddamn Kid Cudi. Motherfuckers like, this bitch is a stalking ass fucking groupie. And it's not even like that because he's talking back to me. Because if you listen to the new music that he put out, he talking back to me directly. For those who really follow my page. 
He's talking back to me directly. So he's watching my videos. And a lot of these motherfuckers watch me. They let me know one person will download it and then they upload it into their little private shits.